Welcome one and all. I am screen name pending, and you are watching Working Project Title, my playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, this is a, for those of you joining, this is episode one of the series. Love that sting. Great. Uh, this is episode one of the series. Obviously, you can probably tell if you're looking at the list that it's the second episode. Um, we're using the European naming convention here, so the last episode is the ground episode, and then this is the first episode after the ground episode, obviously. That makes a lot of sense. No, last episode is called episode zero because uh, it's just character creation. It's just me poking around uh, at the interface a little bit, just kind of learning how FromSoft has adapted this game to PC because, uh, as always, it seems that they are allowing me to play this game on the PC. They're not happy that I'm doing it, though, and they are only accommodating me as much as is technically necessary. Uh, <laughs> but that's fine. Hey, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's conspicuous cause, just because From gives so much TLC to all of their games in terms of the art design, in terms of the, the character, the careful uh, gameplay and, and character interactions. It's all so cleverly made, and yet they don't bother to reskin what button does what on the interface guides and stuff. So clearly they, they are mad at PC players just for existing. Um, but I am playing this game on the PC, uh, in spite of the fact that I had multiple uh, problems this morning, uh, even getting this game to boot up. Uh, apparently that's something that they're working on patching. Um, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's quite a port, ain't it? But it's fine. We will uh, we will abide because it's worth it. It's worth it to get to see this new adventure by From. Uh, so a little formatting notes for those of you who skipped episode one. Just a little recap. I uh, I am going into this completely blind. Uh, this is my gift to people like myself who enjoy watching people play their favorite From Software games completely blind and uh, get to to re-experience all of the fun little surprises along the way. Um, so you're going to be along there with me. Uh, I am playing Deprived, of course, or I think Wretch is the term that they use in this game for it, because uh, that's the only way to play the game, obviously. I have played at least one FromSoft game before, so I'm playing Deprived because I'm not a goddamn scrub. Um, I did... Uh yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically it. Character creation actually went pretty fast. There wasn't much more to it. Um, <laughs> I'm noticing now that my club has like a little little loop on it, a little handle. Uh, that's cute in case I drop it or something. That's quite functional. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, sorry, you may notice. I'm, I'm going to be kind of taking my time a little bit here. Uh, you know, feel free to skip around or whatever. I'm going to read item descriptions because that's one of the only ways that you can learn where the hell you are and what the hell's going on in this world in From Games. And it does look like we're getting a real... Real Dark souls -y vibe. I mean, from what I'm told, this is a new game in a new setting, but, like, right down to the fact that there is a king with a G and a Y in his name. It's looking like there's a lot in common. One thing that's different, though, whoopee! <laughs> there's a jump button! That's one more recap you can get from last episode. We discovered the jump button. Holy crap! This is, uh, this is new. This is very new. What? Okay. It's just, like, a lady doing a little hand thing. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this. It's so weird. I'm like in the Mushroom Kingdom over here. I jump so high and also jumping breaks things for some reason, which is very fun. Um, I don't know. Okay, so there's written messages. Once again, looking ahead. That's, huh, that message was there the other day too. Okay, is that, that can't be a developer message. Um, another message over here. Pathetic sort ahead. Okay. Uh, so that's obviously got to be an item, right? Uh... Read message. Through the path, though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. You got, well, I mean, maybe. We'll see. But, you know, I'll, I'll take this thing. Pillage remains. I enjoy that, um, again, very, very from game. Uh, I enjoy that, that use of language there. You're, you're never really, you're very rarely just picking stuff up in a from game. You are, you are <laughs> looting corpses. You are, you are cleaning up the dead. Uh, tarnished wizened finger. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, once again, so sorry, I'm going to be kind of taking my time here, looking around. Uh, so if you're expecting to see me get surprised and killed all the time, I'm sure it'll still happen. And, you know, feel free to root against me. Um, uh, that's that's always how I watch these things. But, uh, you know, if you see me looking through the interface and stuff, feel free to just, like, fast forward or whatever. I'm not going to edit that stuff out because I see it as an important part of the game uh, is learning. That's why going into it blind is so interesting. Uh, but, yeah, so let's look at my inventory here. What did, what did they just pick up? Uh, this is the inventory menu, blah, 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 dropping them on the ground, blah, 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 yeah, that, 
that makes sense. That's fine. Uh, used to write. Okay, so this is my my substone. Um, okay, once again, sounds like that's basically the same. Basically, we're playing a Souls game here. Uh, is that all there is to know about it? God damn it! Once again, which keys are which? This 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 little glad we've got this handy dandy little guide at the bottom of the screen to make sure that I never forget which completely made up buttons that I do not have. I'm not gonna play this thing on a controller, you know. I don't I don't have any controllers around. I don't have a console, a game console in my house for the same reason that I don't have a a set of blocks or a jolly jumper because I do not have children. So you know, I I, I feel like I feel like FromSoft should take that into account. You know, they should. Are there no, are there no item descriptions anymore? Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, god. Thank God. I was like, oh, that's that's a change. Uh, no. Okay. Good. Um, uh, used to write messages. Your messages will be conveyed to other worlds, allowing players to read them. Finger of corpse wax. A finger of corpse wax. I guess corp wax made from corpse tallow. So emaciated that the bone is visible. It is a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. Yeah, I get it. Uh, what's I'm already holding a memory of grace. The memory of first grace, which once guided a bygone tarnish to the lands between. Okay. Lose all runes and return to the site. Of, oh, okay. Yeah, this is whatever. This is the undead mark or whatever. It is merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring. Become the Elden Lord. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, right. So, uh, yeah, this is the item I chose at start. Golden Seed. It said something about flasks. I'm assuming that word means what I think it means. And if so, then it's important. Uh, increases number of uses. There you go. Yeah, this does sound like. Use after resting at a site of grace, which... Okay, I don't know what that is, but I assume it's where I rest. Uh, when the end ring was shattered, the seeds flew from the end tree, scattering across the various lands. It's as if life itself knew that its end had come. Hmm, bleak. Uh, and then my club. Thick, solid lump of wood. Wielding striking weapon requires no skill. Precipitate permanent weapon that only brute strength and persistence to hammer your foe to the ground. Barbaric roar. Oh, so there's... Yeah, I, I kind of knew that. I was looking through the control scheme, so I know there's skills again. So I assume I have an FP bar or whatever again. Uh, yeah, all this sure looks a lot like a Souls game to me. Um, are the stats really that different? Physical magic, fire, lightning, holy critical. Okay, so there's no, like, new type of damage for me to notice. Uh, attribute scaling, attributes required, passive effects. Okay, anyway. That's, this is different. I don't really understand what any of that means. Resistance. I, I, like when I'm blocking with it? Probably. I don't know what difference the immunity robot... Oh, oh, man. Oh, boy. Th these are probably things I will never understand as long as this whole game happens until my like third playthrough when I'm reading the wiki or whatever. From software. Anyway, that's fine, though. That's part of the fun. Being a little lost all the time. Uh, so speaking of which, it seems like we've seen everything this room has to offer. So let us press on into the world of Elden Ring. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, there's this is all... Okay, it's a door. And already we find a bloodstain. People are managing to die right here, eh? Uh, uh, okay, that seems like there's like a cliff. I assume that's all. Okay, bloodstain, what happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, there you go. Hey, use the jump button. Yeah. Yeah, I, so, yeah, I, I mean, like, why would you ever not jump? It's amazing. Look at me go. No, I, I really don't know if I want to jump ever. I have very mixed feelings about this. Um, let there be good fortune. Behold, confusion, and then be wary of death. Um, okay, well, let's, let's look around first. Like I say, we're going to be thorough here. We're going to look around. We're going to use our little stick to bash boxes sometimes. I'm sure there's no secrets, like, right here. That would be silly. Be wary of liar. No night ahead. That's... I, I just... <laughs> people all just sacrificing themselves at the only places you can technically die at game start. Yeah, this game's been out for just a couple of weeks now, but already uh, already the bloodstains are out there. Uh, that's, that's funny. That's funny. Thank you, previous players, for your extremely silly suicides just to populate the world with bloodstains. You did it. Um, okay, I'm not even gonna try to figure out how to upload any of these, because they're not that interesting anyway. They're all just laughing at the fact that we're all jumping off of a cliff for no good reason. Okay, so there is a staircase over here. Looks like I can drop over there. 
but I think they might go to the same place. Yes. Okay. Doop ba doop boop boop. Oh, that's pretty. Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! Hi. I didn't notice you. I thought it was the sun. Uh, okay. Neat. Neat. All right. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, so exciting. So, yeah. So, um, y you know, uh, welcome to my little playthrough, anyone who's watching this. Uh, yeah, I'm going into this, this blind, so I don't... Actually, maybe I should do a little experimenting here. So, one-hit combo with the club again. Yeah, this is very soulsy. Oh, oh, no, wait. Do I have a combo? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I do have a little combo there. Okay, okay. It's not just a one-hit combo anymore. Okay, never mind. Not a Souls game. Different. Different than a Souls game. Club is a combo now. I doubt it. Yeah, you liar. I'm not even going to bother downvoting you. Who cares? Um, aw, thank you. Uh, aw, it's got no appraisals or anything. How do I... God, there we go. Found it. Yes. Yes, the same key binds as Dark Souls 3, luckily, it would seem, in terms of the interface stuff, so my muscle memory is helping me here. Seems familiar. Does it? Is this a reference to a Souls game I did not play? I, I don't know if I mentioned it at the outset. Again, I've played, I've played Souls 3, and only Souls 3. So I am like a semi-experienced player, which is why I'm playing Deprived, because if you've played these games at all, you're robbing yourself if you're not playing Deprived. You should try Fingers Butthole. Classic. Um, you know, you're robbing yourself of that, that first hour of an RPG experience uh, where just anything you find is an item you need to wear. You know, oh, peasant shirt, don't mind if I do. You know, that sort of thing. I like that feeling. Uh, I like being desperate for gear. Uh, it does mean that the mini boss fight, calmness required ahead. That looks, are we already there? Is this, do we just straight to the mini boss right away? I haven't seen any enemies or anything yet. Um, cause yeah, it does mean that the tutorial boss might be a bit of a challenge cause you start off kind of wrong footed. But, uh, we'll get there. Could this be a do-it? I hope I don't embarrass myself and die to the tutorial boss on my first playthrough while I'm recording this. Uh, uh, I actually, I just, I just, I just went and downloaded the first open source recording. Versions of incantation. Hmm? There's a bunch of people dead here, but still no enemy. Okay, I don't, what is, what is this big thing I'm standing under anyway? Um, what is this? It, uh, yeah, I just, I just went and downloaded the first open source recording software I could because I've, I've never actually recorded anything before. So d I'm sorry if the audio quality is not great on this recording or generally speaking, if there are a little, a lot of hiccups, I'm still kind of learning to edit as I go, but I wanted to come into this completely fresh, uh, because that's, that's the fun for me when I'm watching other people play these games is just the gormless. Oh, okay. It's a statue. It's like a Plymouth for an enormous statue. I need to go back a bit just to... Again, I'm sorry. Sorry to anyone who's watching this who's like, just fucking hurry up! There might be a mini-boss over there. But, like, I, you know, the thick is important. I am I am playing the meta game that underlies all of the FromSoft games, which is meta plot, the meta-ning, figuring out the meta plot, and noticing what statues you pass is an important aspect to that. So I'm seeing, like, a guy with a staff covered in vines. He's facing the other way. He seems to have some sort of crested helm. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm wondering, I don't know, you know, calling this ahead of time, if this is, this is going to end up linking in to the Dark Souls plot. I don't know, man. It might. Just because... Again, there sounds like it feels like there's names being recycled here. And honestly, my origin as this like forgotten last child of the god or whatever sounds a lot like what's his name, the wretch or the the forgotten or whatever in the, the original four creations of the Souls universe. I don't fully understand the Souls universe meta, but he's like where humanity comes from or something. Humanity, the evil force, not necessarily humanity, the people. I guess they're kind of the same thing. Once again, statues of people holding swords. That one seems to have lost a head, presumably from damage. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, this is going to be a mini-boss. There is a mini-boss through there. Is that statue going to come to life? I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm applauding this message. Time for death. Haha, <laughs> yeah. No, you're time for death. Death required ahead. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. Watch me fucking go. Um, 
Okay, so I have a one-hit combo. I have a strong hit. What, I, I haven't even had any fights yet. Come on. Can I block? I... Can I block? I... Okay, I don't block. I don't block with a club for some reason. Can I pick up... This flower looks pickable or something. No. We're doing that in this game. Um... Ah, all right, well, let's... Let's just... Inch our way in here. Uh, I ain't scared of you. I'm just looking around all the corners first because I like to be thorough. Uh, didn't trigger anything yet. Is this a boss arena? This is just a fake out. This is just a fake out. All those people are just fucking with my head. Um, that tree is cool. Where, do I go through that? Oh, 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 okay. It's not the statue. It's a thing in front of the statue. Hello. Oh, ooh, cool. Oh, you're cool. Uh, whoa, okay. Hi. Uh, whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa! Okay, neat. I like you. You have a lot of arms and swords over there, sir. Grafted scion. All right. Um. Uh. Yeah, I ain't scared of you. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Whoa! Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh. Club. Okay, you're holding something back. There it is. Jesus, that was a fun move. Okay. Oh, fuck you. I don't have a flask yet. I can't heal. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, 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 no, stop, please stop. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to lose. I'm supposed to lose. Okay, that's, that, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I feel a little less bad about how badly that went then. Oh, <laughs> because I hit him once? Oh, well, I did hit him once. Let the record show. Okay. I am... Yeah, that's, this can't be how you. What happens when you die? Oh, okay. Here I am. Yeah. This seems like a nice place. I really lay down roots here. I'm gonna get comfy. Enjoy this puddle that I'm sleeping face down in. I guess I don't need to breathe. Is that a thing about being? I'm sorry. What am I called again in this? I'm not an undead exactly. Although I am. A dead who is not dead who is chosen. <laughs> oh, it's a pony. Oh yes, hello pony. It's got horns. It's like a zebu maybe or a new. Is on his side. We found him here after all. Yeah. Thanks. Hi. Who are you? One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. People keep mentioning this Elden Ring to me. I get the impression I might seek it. Does violate the Golden Order. Well, that's new information. What's the Golden Order? Okay. More plot is happening, sort of. Now we're... Do I get to do stuff? You getting up, man? Yeah, you good. You good. Wow, my back is hairy in this game. I don't remember setting that hairiness setting. I guess I kind of glazed over some of the fine tuning on the body controls. If there had been a back hair scaler, I might have set it a little lower. Oh, here we go. Now I got a flask. Flask of Crimson Tears. It sounds like a healing item to me. And so, so, yeah, I do have an FP bar. I just saw it flash up there for a second. Okay, so we're doing that thing again. I I guess now that I have a flask to refill it, I'll try. I assume, yeah, okay, same same button I would have expected. And, yeah, it is like a buff. I actually didn't read what this buff really does for me. I think it reduces stam use or whatever. What, what does this buff actually do for me? Increases attack power. Strong tax change into savage combo attacks. Ooh, what's that look like? Ooh, whoa, fun, cool. Oh, I can go that way. There's an item over there. Ooh, well. There's also a guy or a ghost or what's up? Who are you? Okay. Yeah, switching weapons is the same it used to be. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I have a special attack for unarmed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. 
Um, there's a lot of whoosh to that kick. Uh, okay, let's explore. Cave of Knowledge lies below. That's a developer message. Okay. I guess that means I need to drop. Could this be a opportunity? A opportunity? Okay. Go to speak, don't give up ahead. So to speak, don't give up ahead. What? Ah, seems familiar. Hi. Uh, okay. There's a couple ways to go that aren't dropping down. Do I just have to drop straight down? That looks pretty... Oh, no. Okay, yeah, that looks survivable. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to poke around a little bit. I don't know if I want to... There's a weird tree here. Is this a rest point? Interact with it. Let there be tree. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay, I can't. Could this be a dog? I don't know. Uh, okay, I don't seem to really do anything with it. Uh, oh, sorry. Looks like I'm getting a call over here. Oh, yeah, I still got a minute. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm an extremely important person, and I uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to edit, so there may occasionally be, like, jagged little cuts in this thing when I get calls or whatever. Uh, where was I, though? I was exploring this cave. This tree apparently did nothing. This tree did nothing, right? No, this tree, this tree, this tree can't be interacted with. There's a door, but I don't think I want to go through it. What, what are these statues? Women who don't have hands. Okay. Also presumably damaged, I guess, or did they never have hands? Hard to tell. Um, so over here, there seems to be some sort of item. Uh, you missed me in the early part of the formatting if you didn't watch episode zero or whatever. HUD display. Oh, okay. Um, whoa. Uh, setting my darkness settings pretty stringently. So uh, I genuinely can't see over here. I'm hoping I'm going to get a torch at some point. I, I like dark to be dark. You know, if it's pitch black over here, then I should be feeling my way around. I got this little pool of virtual light that the game seems to give me. I... I'm worried I'm getting lost. <laughs> okay, no, I can see. <laughs> I hope I can't die over here. I don't want to, like, throw my life away totally pointlessly on my recorded first playthrough of this game. What is that? Visions of Water Slide. Uh... Am I, is are you warning me I'm going to fall? I don't really want to slide, but I do... Where did the item go? I thought it was above me or something. Can I get back? I could see an item from over here. Where did it go? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I don't know how to get up there, but I guess there's a way. Uh, presumably it's from... Oh, there's another one up there. Presumably it's from this path that I have to follow down here, though. So let's begin our dropping. Wee wee. Uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. What? Ugh. Okay. Skeleton, friend ahead. Aw, I agree. That's a good message. Uh, hi, Skeleton. Let's hang out. I'll name you Bobo. I'll name you Bobo the Bone Man. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Um, that's funny. Whoa. Praise the skeleton. <laughs> These guys are guys are all right um message people well oh, it's glowing is that important um only one way to find out jump <laughs> this jumping is so weird resting in a site of grace or your hp fp and cleanse any status aim out the rest of the plan okay refill my flasks enemies out of here will be revived so it's a fire Going where light converges, so this is what it looks like, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Um, touch grace. Yay! Got our first non-fire. Um, so I sit here. Past time, early day. Huh, neat. I don't... 
I'm in a cave, so it doesn't really matter. New. Uh, flasks. Okay, here we go. Add, ch yeah, use good, yeah. Yes, I'll increase the number of my flask uses. Okay, well, there you go. I really did start with a free flask item. That's great. Um, increase the amount of plenish my flasks. New sacred tier. Yeah, I don't have that, but good to know. Allocate flask. Okay, yeah. Much like Dark Souls 3. Okay, this is fine, honestly. I don't really have anything else, so I'll keep one. Eh, yeah, just make them all healing. And memorize spells. Okay, I don't have any spells yet, obviously. That's fair. Uh, sort chest. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any items to speak of. Oh, here are the info items. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Uh, okay, leave. Um, let me just look at these new flask items. Sorry, again, once again, feel free to just use your mouse to go along the little status bar there at the bottom, figure out when I stop looking at my inventory, but you gotta read stuff. A sacred flask modeled after a golden holy chalice that was once graced by a tear of blessing. Filled with crimson tears, this flask restores HP. Obviously, you risk that aside of grace to replenish it. One washed once the one washed up on the graveside was gravesite was sure to die until this flask offered its gift of rejuvenation to seek the Elden Ring. Okay, I guess that's me it's talking about. Sacred model sacred flask modeled on a holy chalice that was once graced by tear of blessing. Filled with cerulean tears, just FP, so it's keep calling it the same thing. The one washed up on the gravesite was sure to die. Same thing. Okay. Um hmm. Okay. Tears. Holy chalice. Okay, not not a lot to be known there. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Uh, hello. I stealth. Uh, I don't seem to really. Can I? How do I walk? Oh right. Oh shit. Right. There's a crouch now. Uh. Hoggle crouch, which is not my favorite kind, but I guess that's how I sneak. Try stealth. Yeah, I get it. Hi. Who are you? You see, okay, so things you should know about this playthrough now that we're starting to get places. Uh, I, I'm a nice guy, you know? You know, I, I like to praise sons and, and hang out with friends and be a chill dude. Um, oh, I, I didn't actually mention that at the outset here, but we are we are online on. Um, you know, uh, PvP is it does not fully require your consent in a Souls game or in a FromSoft game, and I, I like it that way. <laughs> I like being surprised. It's part of the difficulty. Um, but also, I don't like to kill people that aren't fucking with me, you know? Who, who are you? Hi. We could be friends or enemies, man. That's your decision. What's up? You want to talk? No? You can't talk. You know, I know from experience in previous From games that there are sometimes secrets to be found if you're just a chill dude. You seem like you have unchill vibes. I sense an unchill vibe coming from you, sir. Sir. Whoa. Chill. Chill. Okay. Yeah, see, now we are beyond chill. And there is only crush. And bash your face. Eh, calm down, targeting system. That guy's alright. You didn't even get involved when I killed this other guy, so whatever. You and me, we got no beef. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on you, because the game does punish you for doing that sometimes, or it might. Uh, that guy might change his mind. I've seen that in previous From games. So, you know. Again, I'm not coming to this totally gormless. I'm, 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 I'm prepared here. I'm going to be careful. Uh, whoa, guarding. What? Okay, I, I guess I don't have a shield, so I can't especially affect... So can I... Guard for stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stamina will be broken. LB, guard. LB is right mouse button. That's not guard. I've been trying this. I'll guard you to death. <laughs> you suck. You suck a lot. I don't need no guard. You people suck. Also, I flinch you. You're pathetic. Um, hi. Who are you? Are you chill? Dodging. I know. Clearly, I know. Come in. Dodging. Unnecessary dodge. Alright, whatever. I'm wasting my time here. You suck and will die. Um, why am I even practicing? This is clearly a tutorial zone and I'm clearly above it. 
Uh, praise the jumping. Right, okay, so here's where jumping matters. Wee, wee. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. Yeah, you got a crossbow. That's fine. You got a crossbow, I got places to be. This is your blind spot. Oh, is this your blind spot? This is. Your oh, I can pick up these flowers. They look pickupable, and it seems like there's an interact. Can I touch this flower? Yes. Okay. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other musical materials for crafting. Okay, we're going down that route. I think that's the thing they did in Bloodborne or something. I, again, I wouldn't actually know. Never played it. Heard it's good. Is there a PC port for that one? Again, I won't play it unless there's a PC port. I don't I don't have any Legos or Playstations. Or Nappies or other children's toys. Uh hi, you have a shield. You're looking like you're kind of a serious dude. Are you a serious dude? Or are you Oh, okay, hi. I wish I had a kick right now. I missed the Ah I was trying this earlier. Uh, um, wielding armor, you can uh, three arm, that's how you talk with two handed. Oh, right, how do I two hand things? Why? Why? And why is E and LB or RB? Maybe I'll experiment with that later. Uh, well, you're not really aggressing on me very hard. I, well, okay, now I'm two handing nothing. Ah! Uh, okay, okay. Well, I'm two-handed now. Does that change anything? Let me see. Uh, strong attack. Bitch. Can I just bash through your shield? There we go. Don't have the kick anymore, but I got that. Okay. Huh. And, um, what else does this do? Is that a combo? Kinda. I'm gonna charge it, I assume. Uh, I assume it's still the same special. Yeah, whatever. Oh! Oh! There's guard. Oh, okay. So I have to two-hand to guard. That's weird. Okay, I'll get used to that. Uh, could this be a pickle? I guess I'll just keep two hand in here. I don't have anything in my left hand. Um, uh, hello? Hi. Either of you guys going to be chill? Nope. Alright. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Ciao. Yeah, you guys ain't shit. Why am I trying so hard? Whoop. Oh, because of that. There we go. Don't get cocky. You can hold your strikes back. That's fun for you. You have a couple of moves. Uh, Archer ahead. Where? Over there. Oh, yep. Good message. Good message. Thank you. Um, okay. Is it just that crossbow guy from before? It is. <laughs> Be wary of left. That's a little too close. That feels like a joke. Uh, okay, hi. Hiya. Yep. And now I bash your face. Whoa, ow! No, that's not terribly well executed by me. Okay, I did it. I'm good. I didn't hurt that much. I'm not even gonna drink. Uh, ah, revenge. Yeah, sure. It's a single crossbow guy. Don't get excited, man. Hi. Oh, yeah, I know. Skills are very blah, blah, blah. Use skills. Um, hi. Ka-chunk. Ka-chunk. Yeah, I stagger these guys so well that they really have no hope. No skill ahead. Damn right. Uh, be wary of weak foe. Yeah, that was him. Try crouching. Uh, crouching, especially in tall grass. Okay. Crouching does a lot more damage. Okay. Tall grass, I guess like that. Okay. I mean, but what if he's chill? I don't know that he's not chill. Are you chill? You're chill. Be wary of east. I don't know which direction east is from here. Oh, I guess I do, actually. That's east. Hi. You, you seem chill. I'm just going to read this message. Why would I attack him? He's totally chill. See ya, dude. I don't know that undead are people in this setting, come to think of it. But I guess I don't know that they aren't. Like, in the other one, I felt bad about killing undead, because I'm undead, so why would I kill undead? Now I I don't know for a fact that the undeath is, like, a big thing in this setting. I'm just encountering zombies. I, don't, I guess I don't know if this mercy is kind of misplaced. But whatever. I'm not going to kill these people, because they might be people. 
Um, okay, unfortunately, it does mean throwing away some critical hit opportunities, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. Hi, you're not chill. That's fine. Again, you really, you're not scary enough for me to worry about that. I don't even know why I dodged there. I'm sorry. You stagger so easily. Um, oh, what's that? Uh, it's a hole, and yeah, I don't have the binos. I don't know what to I hope there are binos in this game. Uh, that could be a boss arena. Okay, now am I getting to the real mini boss? I feel like this would be a way of unfathomable sort. Don't know what that means. Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks. What? Ha <laughs> Uh oh. Aren't you all jumping? Jump I guess I never even considered. Yeah. I guess I do have another attack while jumping. Jesus, I never even really thought about that. Uh I guess let's try it. Uh Kya Whoa, don't no, do not like, do not like. No, no, no. Oh, you have more health than the other guys did. Um, no, I don't know if we're going to be doing a lot of that. Uh, what? I mean, maybe we're going to be doing all of that. Again, like... Oh, man. This is... This takes me back, man. This is some Turtles in Time shit. This is... <laughs> You know, sometimes the jump attack is the only attack that you ever need. Uh, you can get all the way through double dragon. <laughs> like, never using another move for the jump kick. Uh, I don't... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm calling that now. I'm going to run into PvP people who just do nothing but this all day. I don't know about... I don't know about this move entirely. Um, okay. Stakes. Sorry, what? Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last sight of grace. Sure. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Oh. Okay, and they look like this. Huh. Okay, that's inter that's a new mechanic. Uh, fog wall. Okay, so, mini boss? Do I want to drink? No. I'll just be cautious. Uh, Soldier of Godric. Okay. Godric. Who's that? Is that the guard counters? You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking enemy attack. Guard counters are you make it easy to break an enemy's stance immediately after blocking an attack. Okay. Uh, hi. Ah. Whoa. I'm gonna block you. Why would I block? Oh, you. Oh. Oh. Okay. You. Ah. Okay. This is this is no mini boss. Look at your fucking health bar. You got nothing. Yeah. You're. This is not a mini boss. Right. This, yeah. Enemy field. Is that, is that... Was that a mini-boss? Did something happen here? No? That felt that felt anticlimactic. I got no health bar at all. Praise the jump attack. Never. First off, you don't have the right... I don't know what you're talking about. Um, oh yeah, so this is the space I saw through that little hole. That's right. Could this be a weak foe? I agree. Yeah, that wasn't... That wasn't the mini-boss, right? I'm sure I still got something coming up. But this is a tutorial thing, right? We're doing a tutorial thing here. It was just teaching me about guard attacks, which I actually didn't use because I didn't want to let him hit me. Uh, good luck. Yeah, good for you. I don't know what that means. Um... You know, I never got that weird item over there, did I? I don't feel like I ever got that weird item over there. Here's the other one. I remember there were two items I could see from the beginning, and I got one of them now. But there's, yeah, there's the other one. Eh. Well. Uh, well, I can drop down now and go to, presumably that's the end of this little area, but can I... All right, once again, you can just mouse down to that little uh, bar there to where I go to the door, because it's my intention to go to that door, obviously, but, like... Okay, so, like, geographically speaking, it's that way. Is there a secret wall around here or something? Do I want to... Can I interact with the statue in some way? No. Okay. Uh, is it over here? No, there's no, like secret entrance that leads to that place. 
Um, I see a hole to the outdoors. Oh, hey, it's Chill Guy. Hey, Chill Guy, you find what you dropped yet? Uh, okay, so now I'm, I'm high up, but... Yeah, I came from down there, so dropping down right now would not get me anywhere new. All right, I'm, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I don't think there's a way to get to where I'm going. Because, yeah, if I keep following this path, I'm going to end up looping down that way, which is now going farther away from the thing that I'm pretty sure I saw. So, I don't know. I feel like there's an item, like, northeast of me by the compasses telling, but I don't know how to get that way. I can't see any... No, yeah, did I, I don't see any, like, yeah, cracks in the wall or hidden crevices or... This part of wall looks different. Are you different? No, it's just a piece of wall. Wait, let me try the use button. I don't know how to open secret doors yet, so let's not assume we know we know there isn't a secret door just because we haven't opened one yet. But okay, no, I'm giving up. Oh, there's a little status on me when I'm near this statue. Just noticed that. Okay. Um... So I guess that those little statues will probably be outside boss rooms in the future. Again, I don't really call that a boss room, but it seems like this whole area was optional, honestly, because now I'm going to where that other door is. Um, but I guess it was mostly tutorial. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Ghost guy, are you still there? Do you have anything else to say to me before I leave? I went down like you advised me. I did that. Okay, no, go, go away. Uh, bye. Okay. Can I okay, so, yeah, okay. Still getting used to this dual wielding thing. I'm gonna put my weapons away because, you know, we're not we're not here to kill people. We're here to explore. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another door. Every door. A, an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. Uh. What's that? Nothing. A room. I rate it two stars. Not much of a room. I would have lit these candles too, so it could have been more brightly, brightly lit. Already thinking of things that I could improve for this room. Uh, okay. There's a torch. Can I just take that one? And I think this is a bonfire or whatever we call it. Lord Lost Grace. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll rest since I'm technically a little hurt. Uh... That's all, though. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, okay. So, are, uh, something tells me we're still not really past the tutorial zone yet. Can I go through this fog wall? I cannot. Door ahead. You say this. I don't, I don't see how I... Uh, okay. And what are you? Oh, what are you? You look important. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Use stone sword key. I don't think I have that. I do not. Okay. Oh, right! That was the thing that was in the starting menu or whatever, right? It opens in... It, uh, this must be that imp statue it was talking about. I remember it saying something about opens an imp something something can only be used once. I assume I'll be able to find these throughout time. This can't be like the statue that that key opens, right? There's, this has got to be like a like a treasure vault. I'll remember it's here and possibly come back for it, I guess. Uh, that, that looks like an item. What are these messages saying? Finger ahead. Try here. Try here. You just fucking with me, right? Yeah, you just fucking with me. But wait, let me... Okay, never mind. Uh, what's this? Cooperative multiplayer. Oh, tarnished fold finger to write a golden summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer... Begin once you have summoned a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally for Old Finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. Sure, okay, cool. Sounds the same. Compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host of fingers. <laughs> host of fingers. <laughs> okay. Is that what we're calling it now? Um, oh, wait. Oh, sorry. That looked like that was two. Did I get two items there or one? I got. Yeah, I already had that one. I got two. Uh. 
tarnished furled finger. I'm gonna read this real quick. Creates a sum design for cooperative multiplayer. Arrive as cooperator with the objective to. I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of actual intentional multiplayer. Again, I'm keeping online on through this playthrough for people watching. Um, but you know, I've got my own journey to make here. I'm not out to go PvPing or helping other people beat bosses I've already beaten. I need to press on. Host of fingers. Okay, so this is the one I use to host people. Use when you have been summoned to another player's world to return to your world. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, why weren't those two items the same? Good job. Uh, Phantom Blade severs link from a full finger by the maiden scorn is those who abuse its use. Mm, that feels like that means something in terms of matchmaking or something. Uh, oh, I also got a fruit. I don't know when I picked this up. Oh, right. I picked them from a bush. Uh, easily found elsewhere, everywhere in the lands between wide variety of uses. Okay, so this is going to be some crafting shit. We'll see how much that adds as we go along. I never really thought this game needed crafting, but again, this game. There is really only one From game. And it's called Metaplot the Metening. What is the Metaplot? No. <laughs> Boop. That's an elevator, I guess, yeah. <laughs> it goes to. Liar, oh liar. I. Someone else left a message about secret doors here. Secret. I'm not even... Ugh, fine, I will. I'm going to go around, I'm going to bash each of these little alcoves once, and hit E next to each of them once. So no one can say I didn't try, but I'm not a sucker. I'm not even reading the messages. No, I don't believe you. It's not that I believe you, I am just checking. This has nothing to do with you telling me there's a secret door. It has everything to do with thoroughness. I think you're so funny. They are. They're pretty funny. Sometimes. That joke is not particularly good, though. It's just not clever. Alright, so that looks like a button. This looks like a lever. I'm betting this is a... Try lever. I can't. You put a message on it. I assume I would get a switch options if I could press it, so that's probably just to call this back. And away we go. Yep. Okay. Oh. I'm, we're gonna see... I'm excited to see if this planet has a sun. We did see daylight streaming through a crack at least once, so, like, presumably, we're getting closer to it. This is starting to remind me of that, um... Oh, shoot, what's it called again? That Lovecraft story about the guy who doesn't know he's a ghoul. I guess I know I'm not a ghoul. I'm sexy. Look at me. Ah. <laughs> I need some clothes. Um... You know, the the stranger, the under man, the guy who lived below the earth. That, you know, that story. Why is it always underground? <laughs> exactly. Can I come outside, please? Uh, oops, I meant to read the... Oh, hello! Okay, yeah. Oh. Behold, ill-omened creature. What are you talking about? The tree? Uh, yay! Limb grave! I don't know what that means. Yay! But, hey, it's daylight. Actually, I don't... I take it back. I don't. I don't see a sun. Is that a sun? It's not as bright as the tree. I think it's a sun. Anyway, yay! We're outside. Oh my gosh, we're outside. There's a whole world out here. Oh, there's a fire and a guy. Fire and a guy. Well, that sounds like the beginning of a plot to me. And a, a, who are you? Uh, yay! Well, uh. Maybe that's where we'll hang it up then. We seem to have... I guess we're through the tutorial zone. I never really fought a tutorial boss. Was that thing the tutorial boss? It was not the tutorial boss. This can't... I, okay, so I guess tutorial zone part two will be our next episode? I really, uh... I'm really not sure if I'm out of the tutorial yet or not. I, well, anyway, that's that's the beauty of a blind playthrough, though, right? I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So, uh... Yeah, I guess let's finish this up by uh, unlocking this fire... And talking to this guy. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this this first proper episode. So far of my of my of my so far perfectly deathless blind run of uh, Elden Ring. Let's let's get the thing. But uh, yeah, so this is exciting. Oh man, is this like an open world type area? This is looking pretty big. Grace exits the. 
Grace exits the two guide to tarnish them, lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. Okay. Oh. Okay. Interesting. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys are... Oh, so... <laughs> oh. What a joyful welcome that is. Uh, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. I hope you guys are enjoying this little playthrough. Um, yeah, we're going to be taking our time and just sort of exploring this game together. And won't that be great? Um, so if you've never played the game, you can use this, I guess, as your way of spoiling it for yourself. That would be disappointing. Or if you have played the game and you want to see somebody uh, walk through this all over again for the first time and uh, and, and enjoy snickering at me as, as terrible things happen, uh, I hope that you'll stick around and, and check out my other episodes. Uh, for now, let's finish this out by, you know, I'm not going to log out without at least talking to this person. You're not an enemy, right? Uh, and then we can get our little tease for the plot as we will continue to slowly unfurl it. And you can watch me make an idiot out of myself as I try desperately to remember the few things that I've read from the Dark Souls wiki or whatever. Because, I don't know, this smells like it's just related to that to me. Map. Map fragments. Stalays. Freely placed beacons of light. Oh. Huh. How do I... How do I... What? Do I, have a, do I have a map in my inventory? What? What are you talking about? Map. What map? Sorry, what? Uh, what? Information about the map. How do I... How do I use the map? Uh, isn't... Are you saying... Isn't escape the key that you're telling me that that is? Isn't that escape? Okay, I'll figure that out next time. Let's talk to this guy. <laughs> oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Mm -hmm. Come to the I guess. Between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. Sorry. No shame in it. I can't see your face. What do you look like? Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Hmm. Without guidance, without the strength of strength runes, of runes. without an invitation to the round table hold. Okay. So I need are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. You sound like you're talking about some sort of shrine handmaiden type situation, I guess. Once again, I guess we need a designated lady to level up with. So are you wearing a mask, or is that just like what your skin looks like? Can't quite tell. Luckily for you, however, I think that's a mask. There is one shining ray of hope. Is something wrong with your you hand? The maidenless. Me. Vare. Take care to listen. Okay. Are you familiar with grace? Uh, you mean the, the thing I just touched? That gives life to you, tarnished. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. Yeah, the tutorial just talked to me about this, I think. Yeah. The guidance of grace. Okay. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. <laughs> Always nice to have friends that root for you in a from game. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. To Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff. The home of the decrepit demigod, Godric. I've seen this name. That's the soldier I just killed. Was one of his. Uh, I guess that's the castle you're talking about. Time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you, if you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Maiden. <laughs> Hey, come on, bro. Don't don't be like that. It's time you set off, I should think. Or you just castle, yeah. If you okay, go away. Um, okay. Well, thanks for the advice I already knew about following the advice of someone else. Uh, all right. Well, that's gonna be that. That's been this has been a fun little first foray, and it looks like we have just broken out into a whole new world. 
there are this... Wow. They didn't just make it all gray this time. I'll give them that. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you all soon.